Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Today we are heading over to the docks and moving on to the next streamer. Of course in the last episode we were able to save Captain T. Ode, who um, is a captain of a ship. I don't exactly know where he went though. That's what I'm a little confused about, but I think that maybe if we just head out to the sea, we'll find him somewhere. Maybe that's how it works, so let's just try that out. Um, shall we set a uh, motor for the great sea? Yes. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. I don't really know. Maybe I was supposed to meet him somewhere else and I just misunderstood. I guess we'll find out once we, we hit the great sea and see what, what's going on. <laughs> I'm sure I could have asked Olivia what was going on. Maybe she'll tell me. But here we are at the great sea. I don't see a streamer anywhere though. Wow, that's right, this is the first time Olivia's seen the Great Sea. Wow, the Great Sea is so big, the breeze feels so good. Why does it smell so salty? It's so endlessly big, the only word you could use to describe it is epic. Well, that and great, I guess. I suppose so. Oh, there it is. Oh, look, there's the purple streamer. What's it doing way out here on the Great Sea? Looks like it stretches out really far. The Great Sea is huge. We better stick close to the streamer so we don't lose track of it. I agree. So we're just gonna be following the lead of the streamer now. And do we get to control the boat this time? I guess we do. Cool, so I do wanna see. Where do you think the purple streamer goes? We better not lose sight of it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where Captain Teo ran off to, but I'm sure it'll be important eventually. But let's boost if we can. There we go. Was I able to do anything about the shy guy before? Arg! I dropped it. Sploosh! A fat sack of precious coins right into the old drink. Yeah, that's right. I don't have any way of getting it, though, I don't think. Maybe at some point, though. No, do not return to town. <laughs> not what I want. But yeah, it just goes straight under the water here. Huh. Mario, look! The streamer dips into the sea. How are we supposed to follow it down there? Oh, so if we can figure out Captain Teo's thing, he was the one who wanted the submarines. Maybe that's something we should go back home to, but then at the same time, it continues over this way. Is that a tidal wave heading towards us? No, okay, I, don't, I didn't know if it was like moving closer. Can I go through this? Whoa, it's foggy. Whoa, a vast. I don't know if I can go this way. Was this a good idea? Oh my. This fog is unbelievable. Can't see through it at all. We just get lost in that mess. Better turn back before we get ourselves in trouble. Ah, what a pain in the port bow. Wish we had had a sea chart. Then we can navigate through this haze. Say, speaking of sea charts, you two ever heard of the legend of the legendary Captain Ode? Legends speak of a legendary toad who moved beneath the waves and owned a legendary sea chart. Ah, but those are just tall tales. Not much truth behind them, I reckon. If only they were true, a sea chart like that might help us cut through this blasted fog. Do you mean Captain Teod? We know that guy. He said he'd be at the Musée. Ha 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 ha, you jokers. That might be the most ridiculous fib I've ever heard. You met a legendary captain from an ancient, ancient times and he's just hanging out in a dusty old museum? Ha! You serious? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head straight to that museum. All right, let's go. So I guess we had to do all this to go and see Captain Teod, which makes sense. Um, so yeah, we're going back now. Can I just return to town? Yep, that might make it a little bit easier for us, right? Yeah, this, this is good that we're making progress now. But yeah, it'll be fun to explore the Great Sea, and apparently we can dive under the water maybe if we can get that um, submarine that he has. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I know where I am, don't worry. Uh, but let's get up here. Oh, and I also wanted to talk to this guy to see if I've missed any hearts along the way so far. At this precise moment, the number of hearts that elude you is two. Dare you tempt the fickle fates and see what you seek what you seek love lost? Sure. A circle of rocks, scorching sandpaper desert, dig in the center. Tempt the fickle fates again? Sure. In temple ruins lies a crypt, a heart outside, and in and in is kept. Farewell for now, I bid adieu. Perhaps one day we'll meet anew, and on that day you might just find another hint to blow your mind. Interesting, so those are the two ones I'm missing. I gotta keep that in mind. Maybe we can go back there at some point to get some more health. Not really too big of a deal for right now, though. 
Anyways, here we are at the museum. Let's go in and see what's going on. Huh? I thought Captain Teod would be here to greet us. Me too. Captain Teod? You mean Captain Teod? He's he's not real, you know. It's all just an ancient legend. Quite colorful to be sure, but imaginary. Uh, oh. <laughs> there he is. Hey! The sign says no pilot in the marina. You're in direct violation of the sign. Ah, my precious marino. Still beautiful, still formidable. And yet, time marches on. Hey, we were just talking about you. So did you find the uh, thingy you were looking for? The seed chart, that's what it was called. Ooh, I hope you have it. What is lost may never be found. All that remains is a shattered reflection like a teardrop in a pond. But yes, I have the seed chart. I propose a trade. Convey me my and my vessel to the great sea and you shall have my chart. Sorry I'm late. I guess I can't do the captain voice for him because I've been doing it for Captain Tio. Sorry I'm late, but I think I've heard everything while I was running in. You wanna get that rig to the great sea? I'm your toad. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. A submarine on a boat, two famous captains? I can't wait. What about my exhibit? It's the star attraction. I can't curate something else out of thin air. Oh, I'm sorry. But I mean, what is his is his, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at these guys, Elvin. Easy, keep her coming. All righty, you should be good to go here. You decide you want to rig up a few more out, uh, out boots, give that vessel some real oomph, you call me. Do we know him? You have my gratitude. And you may now have this. Oh, we got the seed chart, awesome. So that'll help us chart the sea. Yay, thank you so much, I can't wait to adventure on the sea. Who knows what kind of amazing things we'll see. Whoa, has anyone ever rhymed those two words before? I must say, this whole situation with Captain Teod be, being real is what we in the museum business call completely bananas. That said, there's no disputing the ancient text. The Merino is yours, Captain. I wish you good luck and toad speed. And if you sh choose to return to my humble museum at any time in the future, I will gladly offer you a personal tour. Farewell. Well, this is gonna be super. I'm just so excited that you all have called me on me and my boat to help. And I can't wait to see what this, that submarine can do. Going under the water? What will they think of next? Anyway, I'm ready when you are. All right, so that's cool. So I guess we just have that on the back at all times now and we can dive under the water that way. That's interesting. Hello. A voyage of a thousand fathoms begins with the flooding of a single ballast tank. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Let's go on an adventure in the Great Sea. Can I talk to you? Here you go. Shall we set motor for the Great Sea? Yes, we should. So there we go, we're off into the Great Sea. Now with the submarine, so that's pretty cool. Um, definitely we'll try to make the most of that, and I guess with the shy guy that's near that island, he was saying he dropped something in the water, maybe now we could dive under and get it. I'm very curious to see what our options are. But that's probably why he's so close to the beginning. Uh, press L to view my sea chart. Ooh. The red boat marks your current position. Check, oh wait, okay, this is still. Uh, check my sea chart as you go to keep from getting lost. It's mostly blank right now, but I'll add any new islands we discover along the way. Ooh. I've already mapped one island on, on the sea, menacing, skull-shaped, I named it Bonehead Island. Bonehead Island is, to, is said to hide a secret tide to the fog surrounding the Great Sea. Let's start there. Press down to dive into the submarine. If you dive in a suspicious spot, there's no telling what you'll find. Set a course for Bonehead Island. Make it thusly. I never know when it's just the game narrating or if it's character. Yeah, Bonehead Island. All right then, so you know, we can dive under the water. I think I'm gonna, gonna do that over here because apparently the shy guy had lost something. Looks like there's something here. Shall we investig investigate further? Ooh, so what is this gonna be like? Whoa, whoa. Ooh, the great sea floor is so pretty. Use L to examine your surroundings. Whoa, here we go. Uh, there's something there. Press X to extend the arms. Use L to move the arms. Okay, now grab and hold. Pull it in. 
There we go. Wow, this is so cool. Excellent. Let's return to the surface. This is something else, isn't it? So we're just gonna take all of Shy Guy's money right in front of him. Heavy bag, a shy, a shy Guy's precious keepsake lost at sea. Let's try to return it. It's a bag? Looks like it belongs to someone, better not peek. We got it. So, uh, yeah, let's just talk to the Shy Guy. We might be able to find yet more unknown treasures. Try diving into suspicious stretches of water. Yeah, Bonehead Island, here we go. Ah, oh, I dropped it, Sploosh, yep, yep, we know. Here you go. <gasps> My wallet. You found it and didn't keep it? Amazing. Please take this reward for being so trustworthy. A thousand coins, nice. I'll never let this huge sack of coins out of my sight ever again. If you say so. So what about like maybe where there's like fish and stuff? Are they ever like just like in one spot? Maybe we could dive. But yeah, for right now, I guess we'll explore around a little bit. And if we see anything interesting, we'll dive under and try to figure it out. And you know, we have like different islands around here. Like maybe between all of these there is something interesting. I feel like that could definitely be a possibility. Oh, it's so spooky when it makes that noise though. So here we are at the sea floor. Is there anything around here? It's a shiny rock, but that'll probably only give me a confetti, right? If I don't see anything else worth grabbing, I'll definitely try it. No, there's other shiny rocks around. Hmm. But none of them, well they're rocks, but they're not sparkling like this one was, right? Yep, this one's definitely sparkling. So let's, let's go for this one. And then grab it. Ooh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, let's grab that, pull it up. Awesome, so it looks like we got ourselves a treasure chest of some sort. So I guess it is worth it checking out little, um. This is land, landmarks. Ooh, we got collectible treasure number 86, origami workbench. Isn't that cool? All right, we'll have to keep looking and searching for different stuff. I wonder if there'll be anything near this right here. Ah, so that's the vessel known as the Princess Peach. How subtle. And now we can mark that right there. Cool. There's a bunch of fish over this way. I wonder if I dive over here, what's gonna happen? And that's why I get curious. So this is a lot like um, the Professor Toad. Ah, fortune smiles upon us. So if there isn't anything of interest, there's nothing to dive under for. Good to know. That actually makes a big difference. So I can just sort of roll around and Keep doing that. Either way, I do want to try wherever, um, I was just here. Where does it go initially under the water? Because I don't see it around the, um, the streamer. Yeah, I saw where it popped out, but I don't see where it went in. Weird. Anyways, what's over this way? I know this is not the way we're supposed to go, but there is a little spike over here, hey buddy? There's an island on this sea where you can get, you can battle giants, it's true. If you're reaching for a fight, to, to fight some big old brutes, just find the reef below here and head uh, left. I'm not sure which way is which. Those giants hit me pretty hard. All right, anything to get? Nope. All right, well with that being said, the way I need to go is this way, if we wanna get over to that Skull Island. So, I think we'll keep moving forward with some stuff. There's some, oh, some cheap cheeps in the water now. Do I have to battle them if I run into them? Probably, gotta be careful. But I guess it's why there's the giant fog. So we just gotta follow that now. Hmm. Once again, I'm trying to look for anything that might be peculiar. Ah, fog. Oh no, that was, ah, fog. Fear not, my sea charts shall guide us. It does make it difficult to see, you know, if there's any kind of hidden treasure though. That might be something where maybe later on we could clear the fog and come back and be able to do much better. I would hope so. We are getting closer and closer to that Skull Island. Hmm. We'll get there eventually, right? Okay, we're right about, the, ooh, here we are. Our Bonehead Island, that's what it's called. 
Whoa, a creepy skull. Can I dive here? I guess not. All right, well, here we are. Bonehead Island. Whoa, it looks pretty cool. Ooh, sure is creepy. Is it just me or is that big ugly skull face staring at us? Don't surrender to fear. You must explore this island. Secrets await and I want to hear what they are. Sure. So let's go for it. Finally at a new place. Probably plenty of difficult things ahead so we just gotta keep on top of everything but we got a couple of holes to fill. It looks like, oh is this an accessory seller? It looks like it. Um, oh wrong button. So definitely, we'll try our best to explore Bonehead Island today and just sort of see how it goes. Hi. Fun, funky, and functional. I have accessories for sale. They are good. This is the entirety of my sales pitch. 14,000 coins for the coin step counter. Walk 10,000 steps with this and you'll be rewarded. See you again soon, probably. So I need a good 5,000 more coins before I can even make the most of that. So we do get a fire flower though. That's good. There's another hole filled up. Ooh, a thousand coins out of a two. That's what I'm looking for right there. Hopefully that happens more often. And these birds sort of fly away whenever I get near to them. So maybe I don't have to worry about battling them. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh wait. Ah, couldn't quite. All right, well, you know what? Maybe I don't mind them running away from me for right now. I'm not very good at battling anyways. And what did we get? Ooh, already all the question blocks hit. We get the shiny ice flower. Throw stronger ice balls at enemies in a straight line. Cool. And that's all of the knob. Okay, this area might be quite quick and easy, but let's go into here and see what's going on. Ooh, speaking of uh, boneheads, <laughs> rattle, rattle, welcome, come on in. Oh, coming on in. Welcome to the Bone Dry Cafe, what's your order? A morbid mocha. That guy's is in pieces over there. It's a little bone. What problem is, Mario? You know, like spoon. Uh, you want to borrow mine? Coffee here, big tasty. Sir, please don't chew on your spoons. Other people need them. Hey, is that other dry bones okay? He's been collapsed for an hour. Maybe he's had a hard day. The coffee I made him. Must uh, must be ice cold by now. Hey, cut him break, pal. Him up all night, prowling. He big, big exhausted. Night shift, that's rough. Let him rest, I'll pour him a fresh cup when he wakes. Well, that was relaxing. All right, well, it was nice meeting you all. Mmm, that dry roast smell. Owner here was big time prowling champ back in old days. He not like tooting own horn about it though. <laughs> well, that's cute. I love these. These are my favorite section of just the nice little cafes and just hearing a little backstory about the characters in this world, you know? Anyways, that was awesome. We can go back over here, but we got all the question blocks. We've got all the not bottomless holes. I think we're pretty good just to keep moving forward. Um, I don't know which way we're supposed to go. I will, okay. Uh, go over here. Aha, there's a toad that needs saving. Hey, buddy. You saved me. I was saying, let me show you where the, to find a sunken treasure. I'd claim it, but I'm lazy. Ooh. This was gonna put an X on our spot for us. That's awesome. Getting more hints on where we can find more hidden treasures will be very useful. So he's running off, and that's all of the toads saved in Bonehead Island. Whoa. Um... Okay, I guess I can just smack these down. That certainly does something, right? Whoa, ah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. All right, let's battle somebody then. Whoop. Okay, what am I doing with this one? I see a lot of options, but I think the most obvious thing is going to be to do that and this. There we go. Great lineup, attack power up. So let's start with the, I think the flashy boots should be enough to take these guys out. I sure hope so, if not, we're in trouble. 33 damage, it's looking good, awesome. And then also we will use, we'll use a flashy hammer here, which I might need to replace soon. Ooh. 
boom. Awesome. Very good starting battle for today, over 600 coins. So maybe we'll be able to earn up that one reward in no time. There we go, great. So his one eye, oh there we go, is still not lit up, but this guy's eye is. Wonder what that's about. And what does this lead out to? Oh. oh. Hmm. So I guess to get the other eye lit, I have to, oh yeah, a Goomba, okay, the Goomba can handle no problem. And this just leads out to the other side of the skull, correct? Yes. Very peculiar. Um, so it's up, down, up, up. What if I go back over here and mimic that? Oh, is it too late? No, no, no. Maybe I need to do the inverse? Because not much has changed. So let's try doing the opposite of that. There we go. So yeah, it's the mirrored appearance of the other room. That makes sense. And that is going to give us, ooh, a big button. Let's make sure we hit that. Uh, got it. Oh, and we're going deeper into the skull cave. Nice. What's going on in here? Oh, maybe there's a secret treasure? It looks like it could be. I mean, it wouldn't be all that much secret if it's just chilling out here like this. But it is, all right, so we got critical treasure number 40, or 74, uh, submarine marina. And that's all of the Bonehead Island collectible charges as well. So I think that we've 100% completed this air island. I never expected to find so many interesting things inside the skull. Let's see what, what's in his nose next. He doesn't have one. Anyways. Um, yep, we're totally complete with all that. That's awesome. We, we did that really quick. So what's this way? Whoa, we're way up here. Ah! There we go. I guess we sort of are in like his nostrils, aren't we? Whoa, it's like a, a toad statue. If you seek paradise, gather the three orbs on Diamond Island. Pair of dice? What in the world is that statue talking about? No, no, paradise, as in like very relaxing. Enjoyable, I guess, oasis. Whoa, it's a giant fan! What is going on? Oh, it's gonna blow the fog away. Well, I'm a fan of that. Oh, it's got the full rotation ability. Nice. Wow, that fog totally vanished. That was amazing. Seek and you sheaf, ye shall find. Come follow me to paradise. Ooh, this sounds like fun. But, well, I guess we need to deal with the purple streamer first. I guess we do, so that's interesting that we have so much to explore now. Oh, the toad's hanging out with this guy. Uh, hey, I'm lost at sea, see? Hey, being stranded, can't stand it. Been waiting for a rescue from you. I guess so. So I still don't have enough for this, do I? Oh yeah, we're still a couple thousand short. I gotta remember to come back then. I sure hope I do. Um, I mean, I could try to couple, battle a couple of these birds and stuff. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Let's go for it. Let's get some battles done. I actually landed the jump on that guy. Wasn't expecting that. And I'm hoping this will just get us the, the amount of coins we need. But as you can see, um, hmm, how are we doing this one? Good question. Um. Oh, I see, I think. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. No, I am such a dingus. I don't know how to do this one. Why are the most simple ones so difficult for me? Um. Ah, I just, I know how to do this. I just don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? No, 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 give me more time. Please just give me more time. I don't wanna to waste too much time, but. Oh my goodness, I, it's like that feeling of it being like on the tip of your tongue. It's maddening. Ah, oh, whatever. Um. Uh, 
<laughs> Come on. Um, okay. I just, I know it's something. I'm just too silly. Anyways, let's use the flashy boots on the, on the birds here and we'll do what we can. As long as we can get some amount of coins, hopefully more than 146, because that's what I just spent. I, I did this to gain coins, not to lose them. So maybe it's not worth focusing on the birds. We'll come back and I hope that I remember. Um, there we go. Okay, this one looks a little bit easier. Maybe. They're so good at making these tricky. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Uh, this might be like the the paper Mario game I've played so far that I'm the worst at for sure. I mean, luckily it's a very like chill and sort of giving game in that way. It, it doesn't punish you too much for not playing so well, but. I just, I feel like no matter how much time goes on, I just cannot get used to easily solving things in this. Um, either way, we're gonna use iron boots. That's enough to take him down, right? No, it's not. Oh, fantastic. So I guess I have more than 21 health. That's good to know. Okay. I would like to finish you off as soon as possible. Let's just go for it. There we go. That'll be more than enough. Okay, what do we get? 230 coins. We make something. We're not gonna battle the other birds. We're leaving. We're done. We're gone. Um, there we go. Oh, I missed a coin. Oh, I gotta get all those. All right, so back out to the sea. Now we can explore it with the fog cleared. That should make it much easier. Shall we ship out? Yes, we should. So there was an X on our map that I definitely want to take a look at. Yes, that awful fog is finally gone. Now we can explore the rest of this big old ocean. Aha, there's that streamer, there's the streamer over there. Let's follow it, Mario. I want just a moment, because if we go a little bit to the left, like I said before. Oh, do da dee da. So I don't know what's going on with that. A new engine for your boat has been, go on, has been completed and is now available at the Toad Town Dock. Cool, we'll definitely check that out. But hey, for right now, where is that X marks the spot gonna be? Right around here, I guess. A little bit farther. There's a lot of rocks here. How did we not run into any of these? <laughs> hmm, so let's go over this way then. No, don't return to town. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I guess it's in this little circle of rocks. I probably could have guessed that myself if I came by here, but you know, it's good to get the, uh, the nudge in the right direction. Ooh, okay, right there, pretty obvious one. Let's just go for it. Give it a grab. And, oh wait, no, no. Pull it in. There we go. Awesome. Excellent, let's return to the surface. I'm guessing this is gonna be another collectible treasure, but hey, maybe it'll be coins or something like that. It is a collectible treasure number 81, Paper Macho Mummy Goomba. Cool. All right, so with that done, I would love to, to follow the stream around a little bit. Because it's, I think it's, I don't know exactly, and there's a couple of things along the way. So I wanna go back to wherever it popped out of the water and start following it from there to see what else maybe I was supposed to stumble upon as I was searching, you know? Because I just don't wanna miss anything. Oh, there's a spike here. Well, like I said, let me go all the way over and then we'll, because I don't wanna work backwards. So yeah, it popped out here, and that's Skull Island to the bottom right there. So I guess we can talk to Spike. Hey, buddy. You folks seen that, that big streamer dip into the Great Sea? Looks like it dies pretty far down. Where where does it where did it come from? Uh, what's it doing down there? Such mysteries. Yeah, that's sort of something I'm curious about. I guess what we could do is we could do this. Oh, it works. What's going on with this? It goes just right into the sand. Hey, the streamer is stuck in the sand down here. We can't follow it like this. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Hmm. 
well, maybe that's where it's exiting, not where it's ending. So we can go this way and look around a little bit. Is there anything around here? Nope. Oh, we do get a good chunk of coins out. That's fun. Now, do I wanna battle these guys? I think running into them would. Nope, I was, I was thinking just like with the, the boot car, it would take them out and just give us some easy coins, but I guess not. Oh, do we have booze? No, they're bloopers. Oh, we haven't run into bloopers yet. I like the music here so far. Hmm. Let's see what Olivia says. Don't leave those angry enemies alone for too long. They might attack you with super strong attacks. All right, well, I'd love to not. What if I did something? I don't think this is helping anybody. Yeah, especially when I did it wrong. Oh my goodness. Um. Because I can at least get the blooper there. It's it's the closest I've gotten. I like the music here though. This is a good tune. Let's hit you with the flashy hammer. Oh. Boom. And 26 damage each is good, but not enough. Apparently these guys hit hard, so I think it might be good just to get rid of them now. All right, boom. And that should be enough, and it is. Awesome, so the enemies are coming in now. The cheap cheap, I'm not too worried about. As long as we can get them lined up, they're usually very weak enemies. So, for this one, I can do that. But for this, oh, this game is so weird. I just don't quite know how I can solve this one. So I just, how would you go about this? <laughs> um, Cause like I can get these guys grouped up, but then I'm, I'm sort of at a loss for this guy. It is what it is. I will hopefully be able to take out most of them. I think I can just do it with the 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 um the normal hammer. Like I, I do not remember the cheap cheeps having very much health at all, and they don't. Oh my goodness! So one cheap cheap is gonna attack me here. So unnecessary. <laughs> Definitely try to avoid these guys in the future, I guess. There we go. Got it. So he's down and out. And as you can see, we get 200 coins. I didn't spend any coins in this one, so I guess it's not too bad. I definitely, next time I run into a situation where I don't quite know the combo for it, I think I just need to hire some toads and sort of really pay attention to what they end up doing. Either way, what's going on here? It's like a green one-up mushroom island. That's definitely a mushroom. Only one choice here, mushroom island. Ooh. And there it is on the map. So maybe we can buy some mushrooms here if we needed it. Let's find out. Also, maybe I should dive. Nope. All right, we get 10 coins out of it. <laughs> so what's going on on Mushroom Island? I'm very curious about this one. Whoa, it's frozen in ice, just like um, Captain Teod was. That's crazy. Are these giant footsteps? No, no, those are the eyes of the, the mushroom, Never mind. Uh, oh my gosh, this whole house is encased in a block of ice. I hope the people inside are okay. Oh, okay, we have a toad over here, we can help. You all right, buddy? <gasps> Finally, after days of swimming, I made it to this island. My friend and I promised to meet here and because in case of a huge disaster, I wonder where they are. Hmm. All right, that doesn't have anything else to say. Weird. So he didn't really help me too much in terms of opening this up. We need to find a way to melt the ice. Typically, I'd imagine the fire of elemental ability, but, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, I love it. Let's save the people in this house. But why is it frozen in the middle of a, assumedly, you know, this would be a, like a warm, humid area. Why, why is there just a giant block of ice? I guess we'll have to find out, but for right now, Olivia is shifting over to 
The Fire of All Mental. We haven't seen this animation in a little bit, so I don't mind watching it one more time. But yeah, hopefully we can get those people out of there if they're stuck in it. That's not good. There we go. Ooh. All right, so let's go inside. Doesn't look like anyone is home. This is clearly somebody's house. Where do you think they could be hiding on such a tiny island? Hmm. Guess I'll have to go out on the other side. This door is missing something. Can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, it's missing a doorknob. Or any part of my hand. For that matter, there's no way to open it. Do we have a spare handle handy? We don't. All right, so I guess we'll have to come back once we have a spare doorknob. For whatever reason. Are you gonna tell me anything more that I figured that out? Nope. You're still just thinking about being a fish. Now I can hit these other trees. Maybe one of those has a doorknob? No, it does not. Okay, well then that's that for now. Gonna head off of this island, but we will definitely return later. Shall we ship out? Yep. And we'll keep following that streamer wherever it might lead us. It's a lot of fun exploring the Great Sea so far. Um, there's just a lot of cool things to find around here. Um, this is where things get interesting. I feel like there definitely has to be some kind of hidden thing around here. There's like a lot of options on where exactly we could dig, or I guess plunder. And what's going on here? So hopefully we'll find where the uh, streamer leads this time. It won't just go straight into the sand. But it goes straight into the sand. Aw, oh, the streamer's still stuck here. So on both ends, we're sort of out of luck. Very hard to tell where it begins and where it ends. I keep pressing the wrong button, I'm sorry. But there's a little heart island over here. It's shaped like a heart, I'll call it Heart Island. Well, I guess he likes to keep his names nice and simple. Okay, well that's awesome. Let's get over there on Heart Island and explore around a little bit. This place looks nice. It looks like there's actually stuff to complete around here, so that's fun too. There we go. Getting some coins out of that, but let's see what Olivia says. Ooh, what kind of islands have we found now? Well, apparently a very lovely one. I oh, know, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. I'm getting all the buns mixed up today. We're just gonna fill up everything. Maybe this could be another island we like fully complete like we did with Bonehead Island. Making some good progress with that, you know? What about over here? Is there like a question block? Should probably have, yeah, I don't know, oh my gosh. That's not the button. Um, I don't know what accessory we have right now in terms of that. I guess we do have the question block one, which is probably the best one to have for an area like this. All right, well this palm tree gives us some extra confetti. Ooh, there's a cave here. Has some extra coins and everything. And there is a question block waiting for us here. Is this gonna be the only one? Yep, <laughs> this is the only one. Ooh, there's some extra confetti, definitely need that. And there we go, all the not bottomless holes. It really is a what you see is what you get kind of thing. All of the uh, visible, ooh. Maybe it's not all about what you see. Some things are hidden. So we'll have to keep looking around. I guess if we could fill up the heart with all the lights. Here we go. Huh. I don't know what that did, but. Whoa. Whoa, it's one of these guys. These guys are in um, Super Mario World. You don't see them too often. I love this song though. There is a ton of them. We're seeing them often enough right now, so. Oh my goodness. Don't leave those angry enemies alone for too long. They might attack you with super strong attack. Okay. Um, ooh, there's a lot going on here. And I'm just trying to find out like what's the best course of action. Well, it's certainly not perfect, but um, I got two rows of them. Let's use the flashy iron boots because you can see some of them are snipping upwards and I'm guessing we don't want to land on that, now do we? 
Um, so let's go for that. 26 damage is enough to do him in too. So that's good. Let's try that again, right here on this group. And then we'll be able to get rid of one more. Hopefully Captain Teod will be able to help us at some point, just like uh, the Professor and bob were able to do. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, so now's maybe a good time to try just attacking one of the ones not attacking upwards and see how much damage we can do with just the flashy boot, not the flashy iron boot. Enough to take him down. So they don't have a ton of health, luckily. Oh my, oh my. What do they think? What are they thinking? What are they gonna do? They're plotting something. Oh. Ah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so for this one, we can just hit him with the hammer. Um, I would probably try just a normal hammer. I think it's enough to take him out. I guess we'll see. Let me make sure it's an excellent hit. It is. 22 damage, and it's enough to take him down. All right, so they're interesting enemies. They're not too tough in terms of health. We get 240 coins for it. Nice, we get a lot of confetti as well. I forget what their names are, and I probably should have checked while we were doing all that, but I didn't. And there we go. We win. Whoa, see, that's gonna give us some extra health up there. We definitely wanna check that out. In the meantime, I see a shiny mushroom I guess we can get. And the question is like, what else can I do around here? Uh, That's weird. How did that happen? Well, maybe if I keep doing it, something cool will happen. Maybe like something will fly out that, that it's not a chimney. Third time's the charm, let me just make sure. Okay. So let's get back over this way then and hit that button. That lifts everything back up. <laughs> That's not what I want. Anyways, this is the only one that I haven't sort of undone. And there we go. But how do I get up to there? Because I don't think I can make this jump. So there must be another one. Hmm. Did I ever hit this one? See, that's the one that makes him turn. I don't quite know what that's supposed to do. Weird. Did I do this one by the palm tree, maybe? I. Oh! Oh, it has a ball. Aha! And then if I go back over here and hit this one again, he can turn and drop the ball. And usually dropping the ball is a bad thing, right? You know, say, hey, don't drop the ball, but here I am so glad he did. Thank you very much, Mr. Statue. Let's get up that way then. And that'll make, make him spin for some reason. Hmm, Those, these marks look important. No idea what they're trying to say. They might come in handy though, so I'll sketch a quick copy. If you wanna see these symbols again, press X on the great C and I'll show them to you. Ooh, so maybe it's sort of for like a more grand thing. Either way, we hit this button and it makes a little bridge so that we can go and grab this heart. Oh, it's not a heart to toe, I'm, I'm so silly. He's a point out I'm not a real heart. <laughs> Don't let your heart be troubled by such a thing. Love is all around us. I agree. Oh, and you do give me one. Thank you so much. Max up heart plus 20. Cool. So we're going from 135 to 155. Quite a jump. I think your HP just increased again, Mario, and you seem a bit stronger to boot. This extra strength is really helpful. See, told you so. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, there is still a couple of things to do around here I wanna check out. Like I think going under here, hitting this bush to make extra sure you have there's something. Oh. How many cheap cheap can we make? Just three? Ah, I should have known. I should have known. I got too curious. Oh my goodness, wow, that is a bunch of them. My gosh, what do we do about this? Um, great question. I can do that. And that's not all of them squared away, but it is a very fair majority. 
that's not what I meant to do. Whoops. All right. Um, do we have any items we could maybe uh, take advantage of right now? Power block sounds great to me. So we have five turns here. My goodness. There we go. Not enough to take him out that way. It'd be funny if we could just continually do the power block and get rid of him. Um, but now that they're all knocked out like that, I'm just gonna go and I think I could just normally jump on them. Yep, that's enough to take him out. That combined with the uh, power block damage. It's not exactly the way I think most of the game expects you to solve this puzzle, but if it works, it works. I don't think we'll get bonus coins for solving because we're technically not, but let's get this one, and I can get rid of a group of three. All right, and finally, let's get this one. And there we go. And now it's the enemy's turn, but they're all stunned, so they can't move. Hopefully now they'll move around in a way that I can work with more easily, but it doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. What if I did that? And this, and like that sort of works, but also, I mean, yeah, okay, that works, that works, all right. Sure, I'm happy about it. Let's go ahead and hit you guys just with a normal hammer. Once again, I think that'll be enough. Whoop, boom, 22 damage to you. And for these guys, just in case we used a flashy hammer, because I don't know how the uh, Mecha Koopa is in terms of health. 36 damage out is plenty enough. So we get 1,215 coins for that, awesome. Was a little scared for that one. And we get a bonus 1,000, so we have enough to go back for that one thing, so I might do that in just a moment, but for right now, Ta-da, we get a toad. Sorry, I'm not treasure, I'm just me. But I do know where you can find real treasure out on the ocean. Oh cool, so he's gonna mark another spot on our map right over there. Well, now we know. So there's all of the toads rescued, and if we, um, oh, and do you want to see those symbols I copied one more time? Not right now. Uh, I do want to see, we've completed Heart Island. Very nice. All right, thank you, Toads. I appreciate all of your kindness and your love. Uh, we're going to leave and go to the X in this, on the map, and then I think we'll go back to the Bonehead Island. Shall we ship out? Yep, here we go. So here I am back at Bonehead Island. I just want to really quickly um, go and, what is it called? Like I said, uh, I wanted to upgrade some stuff. I mean, really, it's only one upgrade, but you never know. Maybe he'll have more now that we've returned. And with this one, I apparently have to walk 10,000 steps with it, but I get a reward if I do. I wonder if it's recurring or if it's like a one-time thing. Coin step counter, walk 10,000 steps to win a prize. Step so far, zero. Thank you. And that was the last of our stuff. We're completely sold out now. Check back soon, bring your coins, and don't forget to equip those accessories in the plus menu. Hey, didn't Captain Teod say he visited this island a long time ago? He's like a time traveler, so cool. Oh, and do you want me to, nope, okay. So, if we go over to our accessories, that is in the bonus slot. Right now I don't have any allies, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one. Sounds good to me. All right then, so we'll start taking steps. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> but as you can see, how many steps have I taken now that I just did that? 12, okay. That was not too bad, right? <laughs> one one thousandth of the way there. Uh, shall we ship out? Yes. So what I would like to do now actually is go back home and I think that we'll take a deeper exploration of everything around um, in the next episode. What I wanna do now is go home and at least sort of get a good idea of what I'm going to need to do to get the, the ship motor upgraded. Do I have to buy anything? Cause you know, we got that upgrade or that update earlier saying that there's an upgrade available. So let's find out. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to Toad's Automobots. This latest boat engines we've got going, no joke. It's twice as fast, 10 times as fun, and a million mile times more dangerous. Just how you like it, am I right? Now then, I can swap it out for your gold motor for 5,000 coins. We got a deal? I can say yes and not actually 
Aw, oh, shucks, you, you got a need for speed and a need for coins. Come back when you get more, okay? I will. So that was our first little um, exploration of the Great Sea. There's still so much more to find. I'll be exploring it a lot more in the next episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.